the mirror mod is one of the most useful modifications you can use in a rhythm game. I never felt particularly comfortable using it at first, but over the years I've learned to appreciate its practicality, and I've found it to be a fantastic help over my rhythm game career. A decent amount of you may not even be familiar with what Mirror is, or why it is used in the first place, which is mainly why I'm making this video. I'm going to paint over what the Mirror mod does, show you some uses for it, what games it works for and which ones it doesn't, and lastly, debunk some thoughts some of you may have during or even before this video regarding the ethics of it. Mirror is used in games like Eterna, Pop and Music, 2DX, Pump It Up, and has seen some presence in a decent chunk of other games too. The mod is explained right within its title, as it simply reverses the order of all the notes as if you were playing in a mirror. Left becomes right, down becomes up, and vice versa. Some of you might be wondering what the point of using this mod is, and if a mod of this type should even be legal to use or not in a ranked setting. Before we do that, we should probably go over what games could even utilize Mirror within Reason. While all rhythm game charts have some degree of musical relevancy, some games in particular follow this principle very strictly due to the nature of the game. A game like Eterna is not as effective since the game is not solely reliant on musical accuracy to the degree of an instrument-based rhythm game. Sure, a chart may play a bit differently with Mirror, but it doesn't interfere with the overall identity or theme of the chart. Osu has Mirror in Osu Mania, and kinda in Standard 2 since it's fused with Hard Rock, but it's not its own mod which is very strange in my opinion since simply mirroring the notes doesn't create any more inherent difficulty, and we'll touch on why that is later. On the other hand, a game like Clone Hero would make virtually no sense to use this mod on, as on average, it would make songs incredibly more awkward and difficult due to the nature of how instrument-based rhythm games work, as for a grand majority of charts, you'd be utilizing your ring and pinky fingers constantly. This would also in a way alter the game's mechanics due to how hammer-ons and pull-offs work on certain frets. Sure, the option for Mirror is available in Clone Hero, but it's kinda just there as a general challenge or gimmick and is not meant to be used as a practical mod. What do I mean by practical, though? One of the uses I've seen and I've personally used the mirror mod for is because the chart has a blatant bias to it. For me, a long 4-3-4-3 sequence is five times more difficult for me than a repeated 1-2-1-2 sequence. If this occurs in just a couple instances, I wouldn't really feel compelled to use the mod, but if the file has such an egregious imbalance, I would feel much more inclined to mirror the file. This scenario is fairly niche overall, as there aren't many files that have elongated one-hand trills on a certain hand to that degree, but it can definitely happen and be quite annoying to deal with, even if most of the time the player just ends up avoiding said file overall. Same thing can go for jacks, where there could be an absurd amount of jacks on a certain hand for sometimes no good reason. Mirror will simply switch that bias, but again, super niche cases and happens probably once every couple hundred charts of anything. The use that you'll see a lot more often, and that I've definitely used more often, is when you face what is called a mind block on a certain song. I think a lot of people playing rhythm games have experienced this at some point in their career, and it can be incredibly difficult to deal with. Mind blocks can happen on virtually any pattern, where your visual reading is off and your muscle memory wants to do something else too. This can create a severe imbalance between the two, so one of the best ways to solve this almost immediately is to use the mirror mod. It provides you a great sense of clarity since everything is flip-flopped, and you're technically playing the exact same file, just with everything reversed. In the Flash Flash Revolution official tournament series, this mod is a lifesaver since you have a full week to play a song as many times as possible to get the best score you could. And after playing a file that many times, it's very easy to overthink or blunder a specific pattern indefinitely. If you mind block both mirror and non-mirror, you're frankly screwed for the most part, but you can try relearning the entire section you mind block from scratch by starting with slower speeds and working your way up. Overall, mirror can provide fantastic solutions to very unfortunate scenarios that can catch players off guard quite often at times. So if your game offers the ability to mirror a song, definitely give it a shot. Some people may think after hearing everything that the mirror mod is unethical or technically cheating your way to a better score and that you're drastically changing the song to benefit yourself. This is not true at all. The concept of the mirror mod is to simply switch the bias between hands or feet. It's not switching the notes in a completely different or arbitrary manner that can make a chart feel objectively easier. A chart could be way harder on mirror for one player and more difficult for another but a mod like Random unevens the playing field drastically and has a heavy influence on the chart's difficulty, negative or positive. One of the few games where you can actually benefit in very niche cases would be, again, something like Clone Hero. With something like Stepping Solo A from Solus 4, you could change the reverse trills to regular trills, which are significantly easier to do. 
Aside from examples like that though, simply mirroring the biases in a chart is not mutually exclusive to changing the chart in its entirety, even if for that specific person it can benefit them. Some may disagree with that sentiment, but I frankly can't see a valid argument against it to be honest. There are some rhythm games out there that might have a bit more gray area to them due to the game's mechanics or theme, but overall I think the mirror mod is a fantastic tool to utilize and I highly suggest trying it out if you happen to face the scenarios I listed. I think it's a very simple yet effective mod that could be used for so many rhythm games that have access to it, and for games that don't have it, I would love to see it be implemented as a staple modification. It's hard for me to check every possible rhythm game that may or may not have it, so I'd be interested to hear what other rhythm games that have it that I might not know about, and which games that don't have it that you would like to see it. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel, and if you want to see more rhythm gaming content like this, feel free to check out my Patreon, drop a sub if you're new here, and check out my other links below. I'll see you on whatever video I upload next, and take care. Thank you.